Well, howdy there, folks. My name is Ethan George, and welcome back to our YouTube channel. And today, I'm going to be teaching all y'all about the type of clothing they wore along the Oregon Trail, or just in the 1852 time era, all right? So, I don't really know how to do all this stuff, because I'm kind of old-fashioned myself. So, I'm just going to be kind of showing you pictures like that. I'm going to be scrolling through them and talking to them at the same time, just kind of like a little prelude before we get started here. All right, so, this first, all right, so... This is a picture of a two fine young ladies here. This figure one right here is this little person here, and she's actually in a morning costume, all right? These are things that you would wear kind of like to the ball or to like fancy parties, and these are for fancy people. Not myself, because I'm definitely not someone that's rich. So, I don't think they really wore them warm in the mornings, like I said. I think they just wore them to like as a type of name or something to just make them seem more upper class, you know what I mean? And this second dress right here, the one you can see right there, is actually called a walking dress. And it's one that you would walk up and present yourself to a prince or someone like that and of a higher stature than you. And it's more fancy than just the morning costume, you know what I mean? Alright, now, this next dress here, I'll show you a picture of it. This kind of looks like that. It's really, really pretty, you know what I mean? And I'll just read you a little bit of information that they've got on it. So, um, flounced skirts is what the, this one's actually called. And it is a cape and cape-like jackets and heavily trimmed bonnets in the, 18, in the 1850s. The dome skirts of the 1840s continued to expand. Skirts were made fluer, fuller by means of flounces or deep ruffles usually in tiers of three, gathered tightly at the top and stiffened with horsehair braid at the bottom. So that's what kind of this stuff is. Right. Um, better. So kind of like this stuff, you know, like that. That's all horsehair. Because, you know, they didn't have all that technology we have nowadays, even though I still don't use that crap. All right, now I'm going to show you a, picture, a couple pictures of what they wore along the Oregon Trail. Okay, as they were walking and they were like super tired and stuff, this is the type of stuff they wear. They'd wear shirts like these, like I'm wearing here, and they would walk hundreds of miles and on clothes. They would actually walk up to 20 miles a day, 18 to 20 miles a day. That's a lot of walking, honestly. So I'll show you a picture of actually what the ladies would wear and what the guys would actually wear. So this is what the ladies would wear, something like that. All right, nice little dresses. They were really cheap to make, first of all, and they were also really light, and they, even though you would get hot, you can take off the little skirts, and it'd make it a little bit lighter, and it'd make it a little more breathable. And this here is what the men would wear, something like that. Alright, so clothing was actually very simple back then, um, but it was made from a strong material. Men wore long-sleeved flannel shirts such as this with woolen undershirt with a woolen undershirt the wool or cotton pants or in those days trousers gave protection from the sun rain and sudden change of temperature women wore skirts or dresses made of calico uh it's a cloth it's a cotton cloth you know and it's not like specifically cotton but it kind of feels and is like as light as cotton um and it was designed with gingham striped or checks with flowers in different colors and that's kind of like what they would wear on just like an eight day basis. Sometimes they would change it to other things. And this is what they wore. They wore basically this stuff each and every day. It didn't matter where they were going unless they were going to like church or something. Then they would put on something a little more elaborate. You know what I mean? And they would wear kind of like a tux or a white shirt maybe that they would wear. But you got to keep in mind that these people actually didn't wear all that high quality of clothes. That's if they were back home. And the men would just wear either this type of stuff or stuff they'd go to church in. Or unless you were just very rich and you had the available income in order to buy high more standard uh, clothing for yourself and for your family. So yeah, uh, this has been a little bit of a segment for you guys. Alright, now, um, thank you all for watching. Be sure you guys like and subscribe, and I hopefully will see you all next week.